These dusty plots of farmland around the West Bank village of Takua are fiercely contested. They're part of the occupied Palestinian territory. Caught up in a conflict over land and security, many young Palestinians here have all but given up hope of controlling their own lives. Among them is this young man. I am Murad Sami Zaal Jibreen. I am 24 years old. Murad says his family's land has been taken by force by Israeli settlers. The settlers say the land is theirs, based on religion and history. I'm sad because where are we going to go? Which land are we going to grow crops on to get food? It's a conflict that affects millions of young Israelis and Palestinians. This is a story of how a group of those young Palestinians are striving to change their futures for themselves and their families. Murad's mother, Samia, like many parents here, wants her children to have a life free of violence. I tell him, don't attract trouble. Just live normally so they don't come and arrest you. Since the age of 18, Murad has been jailed four times for entering the contested land without permission from the Israeli authorities. I tell him, don't let them shoot you with a bullet or beat you. Don't become disabled. What would we do without you? Samia remembers the first time soldiers came to their house to apprehend her son. You can't imagine the fear. We were terrified. In prison, I was a young man. The others were older, people who knew about life. I remember I used to stand by the prison wall and wonder if I would ever get out. I'd see my mother and cry. Despite having spent a total of two years in jail, in May 2012, Murad staged another protest on the land. International human rights activists, including some Israelis who themselves were critical of settlements, came to support his action. Murad can be seen here wearing a red cap. We went down there and I started digging under the trees and cleaning up. As Israeli soldiers struggled to contain the situation, settlers and activists photographed each other. A war of cameras and more. Murad, seen here, was dragged away by soldiers, but later managed to flee. I was thinking that this land is ours, and even if they kill me on my own land, I wouldn't have regrets. Young people are losing hope, and that's something difficult and dangerous. Ismail Najoum is head of the Al Marid Teachers Development Center, which organizes youth projects in the West Bank. Psychologically, many young Palestinians suffer from depression. A large number of young Palestinians are left out. They haven't been given a chance to take part in society, to make decisions. But Ismail Unjum does not accept that this is the end of the story. Young Palestinians like Murad, he believes, can find a voice and grasp a sense of their own power to help them gain a measure of control over their own lives and to help move from confrontation toward peace, Ismail Unjum created youth councils in small towns across the West Bank, a region where half the population is under the age of 25. The young people voted for their own leaders. Murad ran and won. <laughs> We said to the youth, we are for you. What do you need? We are with you, at your service. With support from the United Nations Democracy Fund, youth councils have sprung up all over the West Bank and young people are making a difference in their own communities, like 16-year-old Naveen al-Darawish. 
I learned that ideas and creativity are not limited by age. If you are young, it does not mean that you cannot take action. Our ideas can always bring something new, something that creates variety in life, because age does not limit thinking and creativity. Morad and his fellow councillors have applied their creativity to improving their villages, changing what can be changed. They work to clean up their surroundings, to distribute basic necessities like clothes, and to create safe spaces for children in an area where violent conflict is never far away. Since there are few playgrounds and sports facilities nearby, they organize a party for the village's children. It's a chance to play, at least for a little while. Here they gain the trust of the community and come to respect themselves more. They see what they can achieve. I don't think democracy is something that we study as a formula. It's not a theory. It's a way of life that we experience day to day. And after generations of conflict, Morad wants a future with different choices for young Palestinians. A chance to leave confrontation behind. It's something his grandfather, who lies in this cemetery, never lived to see. My wish is to get an education, to continue my studies, to find a job, to work, to be able to live a normal life. It's about being part of something, to serve the youth and to serve the country. It's a step forward for his family and his community, a chance to build for the future in a region where good news is all too rare.